I got the beanie on, baby. I got the beanie on. You know what it is? I know it's hot. It's like 102 and I'm kind of sweating, but who cares? Now I'm just messing around. Uh. I just got off of work. Uh, I wasn't able to watch the game, but I did watch the highlights. Uh, Kenny Pickett, I believe, put on a show. I have the stats right here on my side. He went six for seven for 76 yards and one touchdown. No sacks or no interception. He did pretty good. What was he with the with the second string at that point? He was on, yeah, no, he was actually with the first string because I remember watching uh, some Deontay Johnson action up in there. He was with the first string line and all that good stuff. Mason Rudolph was the one that finished the game. He went 17 for 21 for 127 yards with a touchdown. So he closed out the game. What was he like in the third quarter, uh, fourth quarter? Um, I saw that. I saw the ending. Uh, Pittsburgh was down. Uh, they got an interception by Justin Lane, and they were able to drive down the field and score. My boy Tyler Vaughn's putting some work on that final drive. My boy making some plays at the end of games because against the uh, the uh, the Seattle Seahawks, he got the game winner. And this one, he got like a, what, two big catches down at the end uh, to be able to score. Ah, uh, that's pretty good. Anyway. Pittsburgh Steelers are doing all right. Mitchell Trubisky took what? He took a sack. I know he took a sack. He finished uh, five for eight for 60 yards. And uh, it's pretty good competition. Pretty good competition. Mason Rudolph is making a case to stay on the team because I know there have been those trade rumors that he might actually be traded to this team, the Lions. Uh, yeah, uh, we we might make our final decisions today because uh, I know that after this is the bye, we might make some cuts. I'll let you guys know who I'm keeping and all that stuff. But I did see Anthony McFarlane in the return game, so I kind of put him as the returner. Um, I sat out. I'm gonna set out uh, Pat Fryermuth for this game because I want to see how our next two tight ends and uh, Zach Gentry, Sternberger, and uh, Hayward work out because I want to be able to throw to a second tight end and I need somebody who can catch. Um, anyway, so uh, Travis Etienne, great. He was able to come back on the field. I know we haven't seen him for like a year. Trevor Lawrence put on a show, 14 for 21, 133 yards, good. Um, I've seen that one clip of Cameron Sutton trying to pick him off. He completely missed the ball, went through his, uh, barely, I think, over the tip of his fingers. I was like, damn, you should have picked that man. Should have picked that man. But I know, um, what is he? What is he? What is he? What is he? Uh, Najee Harris didn't play, of course. Uh, Gunnar Lezetsky, Lezetsky, lost, had a fumble. That's fine. Uh, Pry Firemuth did good in the rushing instance. I know they're not, of course, they're not going to play Najee because I ain't trying to get that boy hurt, but ain't nobody trying to have that happen. And we need that guy. We need that guy. Uh, behind our line anyway uh you know what i did watch the beginning of it because i was at work and devin bush um he was playing all right i know there's been rumors about him too because i know he just kind of lost last game against the seattle seahawks but i mean from the first couple of drivers i've seen i mean he looked like he was there he made a couple tackles he finished the game with what four tackles what what four three three solo i mean what is it that came probably in the first two drives but i mean he was there uh he was there i seen him in coverage um he did fine uh then again i probably only like i said i seen the first two drives and then i was at work and then i was able to barely watch the ending and then the highlights uh anyway dude oh my god real quick before we start the video i know i'm kind of rambling on but the the kicker for the jaguars i don't know man i don't know two for four he looks like he might not have a job I'm going to end of this week. That's just me roasting. Anyway, here we are, guys. We're in the last preseason game. We are facing the Detroit Lions, the team that's rumored uh, to be wanting to trade for the backup of uh, Mason Rudolph. As you guys can see here, we have a camp standout. I hope that's Devin Bush because I've been playing with him way too much. Way too much. Oh, wait. Yeah, it's always Devin Bush. Last year it was Devin Bush. This year's Devin Bush. I got to get my user up. I need that. You know, his tackling is fine. I want his play recognition to be able to fly around the field. Yep, yep, yep. I guarantee he's watching film every day. Yep, plus five play rack. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm gonna get really hot in this beanie, I'm gonna be honest. Oh, man, okay. Practice available. I already got the practice in on all that good stuff. Managed staff. We probably won't do that into the regular season. Um, and shit like that, but... Um, so I'm gonna play this game. And what I'm gonna do after is I'm gonna probably put like a list of who I cut and who I wanna stay on the team uh, to finish out the 53 man roster. Cause I have an idea. Um, I'm also kind of do like a realistic type of thing to where what the Steelers did and then what I'm gonna do, kind of like mix and match type shit. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and go into the preseason game. Two offenses by the numbers. Yeah, let's get it. Let's get it. Brandon, I just continue to be and this is gonna be the last preseason game, guys. This is gonna be week three. I gotta hone in my skills on defense. So if I don't, I'm gonna struggle off season because my defense is the thing that's gonna win me games, right? So this game's gonna be Kenny Pickett, Mason Rudolph, and a little bit of Ola Dukin. Uh, Ola Dukin probably takes over in the fourth quarter. We'll see how it goes. Um, Najee not playing this game. Or are gonna save him for the other one. I have a competition between Zach Gentry, Connor Hayward, and Sternberger. 
All right, for the tight end position right now currently. I did move to Marvin Leo, trying to get some action with him in it. I did keep TJ and them in just because I want to bring the heat. Um, Miles Jack out for this game. Let's. I'm here. Uh, those stiff arms are a little too wonky, man. They happen a little bit too much. I don't like that. All right. Let's talk about the game. Game. We did pretty well. Um, so I did watch the first two drives because I was at work, obviously. And I know there's a lot of hate going around about Devin Bush. I personally like Devin Bush. Um, I know he's been struggling lately. And he did make good tackles. He did make good tackles in that first drive. I did see he played coverage as well. And kind of clamped up his tight end, not going to lie. Uh, but there is room for improvement. I want him to be able to improve. Uh, okay, I don't know about that. Toe drag. I want him to be a senior for a while. There's a reason why we drafted him in the top 10. I know he's struggling to be able to break out of the shell. Rookie season did phenomenal. And has been struggling ever since then, man. That's my fault. I can't play defense right now. I'm too busy talking. Um... Cameron Sutton had a good play. He almost intercepted the ball. I mean, gotta get up there, man. Gotta get up there. He's not getting up there. And get it. You gotta get up there and pick it. Um, safeties. Ah, I didn't really get to see the safeties. You know, they're in the secondary and all that good stuff. But damn, we were getting bodied. But then again, this is the first string offense. Um, it's gonna be tough to stop them. It's a first string offense. It is the Lions, and I'm playing with a bunch of second and third stringers in the secondary. Uh, same thing. You know what? Actually, same thing with the D line. Dude, if I get mossed all season long, I'm going to be frustrated. That's going to be hard to cover, man. I press square, he over pursues it. I'm going to try to intercept it, over pursues it. Come on, let's try to get in. Let's try to bring the heat. Bring the heat up. Oh, quick, 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 quick. Who was signed? He didn't get the pick against Jacksonville, but he got it against Detroit, baby. Let's go. I want him to be my starter, man. I really, really do. I wanted to reach 80 overall at least. Good stuff, Cameron. Good stuff. Nice. Hey, fun fact. Uh, when I go back on offense, I'll tell you guys. So our offense did fairly well. I know Mitchell Trubisky took a sack. He was the first quarterback out there. Took a sack. Um, didn't get a touchdown until the end of the second quarter when um, Henny came into the game. Um, I believe he got the ball with four minutes left, three minutes left. Was able to drive down the field and get a touchdown. And he did take a hit as he released it to um, uh, Pat Fryermuth over the middle. Ooh, props on that one, man. I played, um, I played a little bit of quarterback in high school. And in college, I played safety. Uh, so uh, being able to take hits is kind of... Ugh, man, being able to stay in the pocket. Well, then again, let me tell you something. My team wasn't good. My team wasn't good. So I got sacked a lot. Uh, so being able to stand in the pocket to be able to... Shit. Damn, he read that all the way. I feel bad at doing this. My goal is to not throw an interception with Kenny Pickett all season. Play smart. Even if I have to dink and dime, I'll do that. I don't want to take a lot of sacks, though. That's the thing. Mm. Oh, anyway, going back to the game. Mason Rudolph did pretty good to close it out. I know he was going to be the guy to close out the game. And did pretty pretty good. He also got a touchdown pass in there. So it's, gonna, it's a back-and-forth battle, man, for that second spot. But just because I know they're trying to prep Kenny uh, to get in there and uh, replace, uh, be Big Ben's replacement, but... I honestly think he could start against this game against the Lions just to see what first team rep looks like going up against the front liners. Um, just to see what I do. But I do honestly think Mitchell Trubisky is going to start. Good ball. Good ball. Kenny, Mitchell Trubisky is going to start. Um, I feel like the second he starts fucking up or something, like throws his interception, struggles through the first half of the game, gone. And he's going to come in. It's going to be that close. I believe it's going to be that close to end the preseason. You guys want to know a fun fact? 
I learned this today while I was at work. Oh, is it? Uh, Omar Ross St. Brown? He, he was in an interview. He was like, yeah, I can name the 15 receivers that were taken ahead of me. And he was naming receivers like I didn't even know. Get out of the freaking way. Oh, my God. I got stuck on freaking Hawkinson. But yeah, he was like naming like Tutu Atwell, like fourth round, fifth round, and all that. And I was like, dude, this reminds me of when uh, Jamal Adams was like, I remember the five guys dropped that ahead of me. And everybody was like, he's like, I'm he, no, no, no. He said, I remember everybody that was dropped that ahead of me. And everybody on social media was like, wasn't there like only five guys dropped that ahead of you? I was like, it was like six overall pick. To be honest, I don't even remember who they are, but. Um, yeah, but trying, remembering this, the 15 receivers taken ahead of you, it's pretty cool. Give me that Cameron Sutton pick number two. Pick number two. Carter? Carter? I can lie, I was kind of scared going up for that because I've been getting mossed. And then McFarlane? Nope. Um... We got this. Let's get that fullback dive going. I want to be able to turn some clock too. I don't want to be all day just trying to throw balls, getting incompletions, having the clock stop and all that stuff. Should I put Connor in there? Let me just put Connor in there. Fullback position. Have him play fullback for me. Good ball. Deontay, let's go. Now we got to go back to playing some defense. Defense. Gotcha, Dan, baby. I think Warren just might play the entire um, second half because McFarlane already played this half, and I think you're good already. You don't need to show me anything else. You're fast. That's that's, that's just all I know. That's good. We're getting these interceptions out the way. We can get these interceptions out the way now. You don't have to worry about them later. Good ball. I just still gotta play good D, man. I'm more upset about my defensive play than I am my uh, offense because the majority their touchdowns have came off my turnovers. That I understand, but I want to be able to hold people to field goals, and I haven't been able to do that this Madden. Last Madden, I was able to do it. I don't know if it's just the, the smoothest smoothness of the game. All right now, I'm kind of like just struggling. Good ball. Surprised that Horn didn't break on that. Oh, well, Joby almost got there. He almost got there. I'll try to hit stick with TJ. Okay. Two minute warning. Goals to hold them, man. I'm not. I'm not doing a great job at being able to play defense right now. Frustrating me. As long as we can hold in the red zone, but if they're at the one yard line, it's a wrap. They're, in, they're scoring. My defense is terrible right now. I get it. We're playing with second stringers and stuff, but damn. It's terrible. I can't guard nobody. I feel like they're just reacting a bit slow, too. Pick. Thank you. We hold, baby. We hold. You ain't taking that from me. I'm God. Definitely not the ideal time to see that mistake, partner. That was a touch. If I didn't take over there and get that interception, that was a touchdown, 100%. The second remaining in the first half, they'll call the uh, I believe I'm going to let Mason take over after this. 45 yard attempt. Let's get this. Perfect. Boom. Yeah, good. Good. I can't raise my other arm because I'll hit this corner of the damn. Desk. That's why when I say incomplete, I have to like move my arm like this up in the air. <laughs> Spread them out. Warren, let me see what you can do, boy. Number 30 looks nice on you. I need number 30 going down the field, though. To look a lot nicer. I need, a little, I need a little big body back to be able to move. My guy's immune to pressure. Little quick one. This could be anybody. Good. How about I say that linebacker got there too late? If he intercepted that, I would have been hot. I think the majority of the second half is going to be little dinks and some run plays. Try to burn out the clock because I know I'm playing pretty much the whole game at this point. 
Trying to run inside, but nothing there. So after the run for <laughs> and it's Mason Rudolph. And I want to get to all the Duke in at least. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Warren. He's got Aiden Hutchinson still in the game. Why? He doesn't need to be in. They'll come to the line here, needing nine yards to pick up the first. Nah, I, don't, I won't be mad if we don't pick Throwing it up. On third down, here's Rudolph. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Deshaun Elliott. And he will bring it back. An interception return for a Lions touchdown. Here's Seibert now to add the extra point. And doesn't that just sum up football? We see it all Ooh, time. good hit, Justin. Three interceptions. That's bad. So you know they're riding high right now, and they're ready to challenge this offense. And Come on, run the ball. We'll this is preseason. Is up for that challenge here as things start to get more interesting here in the second half. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. I don't see how they could keep throwing that route. I throw that route, I get intercepted. I'm thinking base flex. Alright. Damn. I'll, I'll play the tight end. Cameron Sutton is going to start. Fourth interception. Cameron Sutton is going to start for me, man. Sometimes you don't even have to let them finish the play action. That play is going to be there. All right, let's run some clock. Good cut up the field, Warren. He had a great game against the Seattle Seahawks. He did. He showed out. I, I want him to. I want to say he earns a roster spot, but I had to throw it right there. That would have been intercepted if I held on for a little bit longer. To be a third and in inches can't be more than a half a foot. Warren's big body. Now a handoff up the middle. Big body. We move the chains, baby. Move the chains. Time on third and in inches. So after two first downs, they get another here. First right. and ten at the uh, yeah, There's too many people on that side of the field. I'm gonna be honest. I don't like that play. I think Deontay might be open here. Rudolph off play action. Touchdown. Nice ball. <laughs> Good ball. There's way too many people on that side of the field. Maybe a, a flood concept in my mind was going to be able to work to so be able to get away from all that. But I mean, I ended up bringing the blitz instead. So, no, I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like go back, go back, go back. I'm not going to have a single high safety in coverage. Yes, sir. Go out of bounds. Third and 11. Let's play some curl flats here. The middle of the field, I don't want the middle of the field to be wide open on this. Come on, Boyle. Touch you down, baby. Operating from the gun. Boyle. He's airing it out for Williams. Thank you. Justin Lane, man. You want a spot, don't you? I, like, I'm already I have ideas of where I want these people right now. Like I'm getting ideas. Okay. Alvin Austin. Tub. Here. Benny Snell block for me. Safety's kind of showing blitz. Thank you. Is that a corner? That is not a corner. That is a linebacker. Yes, that would you? That's game. There you go. That's game. <laughs> Got the guys on your toes on that. That's a bit poor right there for no reason. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys back with our roster to see what we do, man. See what we're going to run out with week one. Alright, guys. First piece of business. Mason Rudolph, uh, thank you so much uh, for your attempt. But we are going to go ahead and move him to the Lions, kind of like how the rumors are. Uh, we, With the injuries being off, there's no reason to even have a third backup quarterback so we're gonna go ahead and ship him out to the lions for a fourth uh i believe that's fair we swapped out a six for a fourth we gave him uh mcnichols who wasn't gonna make the team because i really didn't even get a shot with him i kind of forgot in the last game to put him in uh but yeah mason rudolph off to the lions uh to back up jared off and uh i'll show you guys the final team roster when i'm done i hope you guys are ready for week one because i am baby i am it took me a while i was thinking about who i want where i want them you know what i mean you know what i mean i was thinking about where i want them and i came up with this team for week one guys we have dan moore 
Kevin Dotson, Mason Cole, Jason Daniels, Chuma Okafor. That's going to be the starting fire for the line with Kevin Green backing up both guard spots and Haig backing up both tackle spots. Um, and Hassenauer, uh backing up the center. Of course, I can put Kevin Green there, but Kevin Green backing up the entire interior line. We have Pat Frymuth starting tight end. Of course, nobody was going to take his spot. We have Gentry backing him up with Connor backing him up. Honestly, Sternberger can switch out with any one of these two guys, but this is the, the guys I went with. I decided to go with. We have Deontay Johnson, Claypool on the other side. We have George Pickens and Calvin Austin. Starting four, I used them all preseason. No one's going to take their spots. Kenny Pickett, he's going to start for me. I know he's probably like a starting IRL, but he's going to start for this franchise, for the Clemsy franchise, baby. We got Trubisky backing him up. We have Najee. No one's going to take his spot, obviously. Benny Snell and McFarlane. I put Warren in the practice squad because I, I really do like how he feels. I just We just have too much running back depth. And me turning off injuries is just not going to help. You know what I mean? Starting defense, baby. Number one defense in the league. We have Mika Fitzpatrick. Uh, Alex Highsmith. Miles Jack. Devin Bush. I have Devin Bush as the one because he's my user. Uh, we have TJ Watt at the left outside linebacker position. Defensive player of the year. He's going to go back to back. I guarantee it. I'm saying it right now in this video, back-to-back -back defensive player of the year, even in my simulation. We have Terrell Edmonds backing him up. Carl Joseph backing up. Minka is uh, KZ with Norwood backing up in the three slot. Uh, we have Aleko Witherspoon and Cameron Sutton. Cameron Sutton is my man, bro. Uh, he no one's going to take his spot. I'm sorry, Levi, but it's, it's Cameron Sutton. You know what I mean? Um, that's just me. That's that's just me, though. That's just me, though. You know, you know what I mean? And then we have James Pierre and Justin Lane in the... Uh, fifth and fourth and fifth respectfully with uh, Cameron Hayward doing the right end Tyson Alualu D tackle and Olin Joby at the left and backing him up DeMarvin Leo had a good preseason might as well just keep him Chris Wormley backing him up I know they were the same overall but Olin Joby is just better look at that silver mm. we have Matavis Bryant and Matavis Adams right that's how you say his name I think it is and DeMarvin Leo backing him up because I want I want him to progress I want Leo to progress Special teams, you guys already know Boswell, Harbin, Calvin Austin is going to be my returner, and uh, uh, McFarland is going to be the backup returner, just whenever I want to have fun. You know, specialists, you guys already know who the main interior in, in the D-line is, so I'm not even going to go over these three with you. Uh, linebacker, you already know who it is, I'm not going to go over that with you. Running back, you already know who that is, I'm not going to go over that with you. Right here, I have James Pierre, James Pierre in the slot like i said he feels too good for me I, he used them last year there i love him there that's just me though uh we have justin lane because he did perform well in preseason for me and norwood backing him up because he's young both the, all three of these guys can progress i really want them to progress george pickens in the slot with calvin austin backing him up um yeah that's gonna be the team for week one guys i will see you guys in week one because i know after this it's gonna be a break so I'm going to put out a different video, maybe release a Dynasty, a Rebuild, or even a Horizon Forbidden West. Forbidden West. Keep on the lookout. Anyway, again, guys, feel free to drop a like and subscribe if you guys made it to the end of the video. Anything helps. Helps me out tremendously. I love you guys. I thank you guys for watching. Uh, Till next time. It's Clemson, guys. Take care. Yeah. I've been lost in your ocean now. I see the waves and they pounding now. All I know I'm about to take off Working hard it would pay off I found myself I was feeling lost